All right, since I failed at tuning the F-150 today, I did remember I had some lights and some brackets for my JL. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. Be a quick, easy little project. I got these little aux beam Amazon joints and then some type of little hood mount thing for that. We're gonna see if this will work. And then this thing came with its own wiring harness. I got similar wiring harness in the vet. Comes with a little push button thing. You can hide it. I like that. Stick it up under the dash where it's not in the way. I'm gonna throw these on the Jeep for now. Uh, and they're gonna go on the gold truck. I have some uh, hood brackets for these to go on the gold truck. But these are gonna go on the hood. And I'm also tonight gonna test them out and then uh, show you how to adjust headlights on a JL or any other vehicle for that matter. So. Let's put this thing on. I'm gonna pull the Jeep around here to this spot and yeah, I'm gonna throw these things on there. Let's get it. All right, so these little mounts were cheap on Amazon, eBay, not real sure. I forgot the price of them. Look them up if you want to, but they're called Sevens Gear, G-E-E-R. Sevens Gear and basically, Ugh. basically they just um, bolt to the two outer bolts that um, your cow bolts down to super easy so basically these two bolts right here unbolt them bolt that one in it kind of sticks over to this side where the dip comes down at and your light will bolt to that and these are aux beam lights. Like I said, I think I got these on eBay or Amazon. I'll go through my uh, eBay and Amazon and put the links in here if you're interested in getting them. I got the aux beam ones with the wiring harness kit. It's got a fuse and the relay and the wires that go to each one. They're coated, it's easy, quick and easy. So I'm gonna pop the hood on this thing and get to run these. Uh, first I'm gonna mount the lights and then see where I can run the wires. I'm hoping I can run the wires up under the cowl thing and down inside the hood so let's see all right so basically they just bolt on like this and then those two screws hold these down that's it so first thing i did was got my harness out and seen where i wanted to bolt my relay to there's a little ground place here i'm gonna bolt my relay to Keep my fuse right here. Run my wire over and over. Looks like there's a place where you can run wires right here. That's sick. This one over here, I'm probably gonna shorten. Probably gonna cut all this down and shorten it. When I attach it, both of them's probably gonna have to be shortened. That's all good. So I'm gonna get on this thing right now. The only thing, sorry about the wind, holding these in here is these two T40 Torx. Took those out. I went ahead and screwed my light somewhere where I thought I'd want this thing at, right in the middle. And I just ran my wire through this hole. I didn't have to take anything else off. I'm gonna make the junction right here and probably go up under this foam right here and right over to where I need to be. It's gonna be a real short wire there and the other one's gonna go the same way and then down that channel. All right, I got both sides put together in heat strength. I got everything ran under these clips. I pulled, use the one zip tie to pull it all tight. I zip tied them together, put it under those clips on that side. I ran up under here. I'm gonna wait till these cool off a little bit because I just got done using the heat guide for the heat shrink to seal all that up. This one I already ran under because it's already cool. So it's already ran and ready to go. All I have to do is hook up my positive and negative right here and go inside and do the switch these jeeps have these little plugs right here there's a hole in the firewall i'm gonna put a uh i'm gonna go to autozone get a rubber grommet but you can just pop that out and there's a huge access way right here you can see i will you can see that in there that's right here you can see this cord hold on this wire right here going in and out right there. Little hole right at the side. Goes right up above the gas, or the, right up above the brake pedal on the left side. 
probably gonna put the switch right in here somewhere just it's got a sticky back i'm just gonna sticky back it to there and uh that's that i'll do some other better switch pod later but those will give me some lights for right now i plan on putting two more down on the front bumper down here but i'm not really sure what kind of i'll buy yet i may not even run these i may take these off and run a different kind i don't know those don't look too bad all right let me uh finish running these wires and uh run the switch and i'll hook it up and we'll go turn them on all right that went great super clean install only thing i'd like to change is i'd eventually like to get me a distribution block up here to mount all these accessories off of but i just ran the wires cross firewall here I'd also like to get a different switch panel in the future. This is just for right now. But I put a little alcohol in the plastic there. Quick on and grab it quick with my hands. They're pretty bright during the day. Excited to go test these out tonight when it gets a little darker. I'm also going to wait till it gets a little darker and I'm gonna put a uh, go in the backyard and adjust my headlights I might do that now if I can see them but the fenders I ordered are on their way they said they already shipped them they said they were built to order but they already shipped them so that sounds like a good deal probably have those next week but I do need to get some primer on this thing so I think I may while I'm waiting for it to get dark, I think I may um, put this up on the sawhorse and start hitting this thing with some primer as well as these parts right here. All this goes with it. So I may start hitting with all this with some primer. I think I'm gonna try to paint match it to the Jeep. I don't think I'm gonna do it black. I think I'm gonna paint match it. I feel like it being black would just stand out so much. I don't know. I feel like if it was white, it'd look pretty trick. I don't know, there'd be a lot of black on the Jeep already. What do you think, black or white? Black would be pretty easy. I could basically get it painted black tonight. White would take me a little longer. I think it would look sick painting it white, but I'm not real sure. Definitely get some primer on it though. That'll help. All right, so there's what it looks like. The hood shut. Um, honestly, it's not bad for some Amazon stuff, man. That's pretty, that's pretty clean. I know they're not Baja designs or anything like that. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna get some of that uh, G lighting next, some of their pods and stuff. I think they just came out with some a new series, I might get theirs. I'm gonna rock these right here for a little while and then these will eventually go on my Silverado out back because I got some uh, hood mount uh, light brackets for it. I'll probably just put these on it and put those, uh, the G lights up there and on the, on the bumper somewhere. I think I'm gonna make me a little bracket right here somewhere and put some down here, right here. These things right here don't look bad. That's uh, not, a, not a bad look. I, I was kind of skeptical. He's been sitting on the countertop for about, I've had the lights for like eight months. I've had these brackets for a while. Not real happy with the uh, silver hardware, but it is what it is. I may try to find something different in that later whenever I switch lights. But for right now, those are gonna stay like that. If they start rusting onto the paint, then I'll probably uh, switch to something else. All right, now for just to get dark and uh, check these things out. All right, sun's going down. I didn't want to do this at night, but I'm going to show you how to adjust your headlights. I had to adjust these last night, and it was pitch black dark. Uh, I let it dark creep up on me too fast last night, but I put the, uh, I did a spare tire video carrier today. Tire carrier video today. It's going to come out here in a second. Man, look at that Colorado sky. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but damn, that's pretty. Anyway. Put a spare tire carrier on that video is about to come out and it weighted me down and I, I pushed them up a little bit high last night but then i put this 
40 on the back here and it definitely so since I put this 40 on here it definitely pulled the back down some so we're going to readjust these headlights again good rule of thumb is about 25 feet away level ground I'm 24 and you don't want your headlights much over three feet baby little Phillips screwdriver and driver sides right here the passenger side you can get to without taking the airbox out you're just gonna have to bend this up with your hand and put your screwdriver down in that hole you can twist them adjust them up and down that's what we're about to do right now I'm gonna put three feet up there uh, get me a little scratch mark and then uh, adjust these down accordingly All right, I put me a little scratch mark at three feet. Mine were way over four feet already again, so. And I put mine a little above three feet right here. Yeah, there. Uh, just cause last night I put them at three feet and they did not shine out far enough. So I'm gonna put them a little bit above right now and hope that helps, but it always helps to go drive at night too. You don't wanna not be able to see ahead, far enough ahead. For like uh, animals or pedestrians or such but not high enough where you're blinding oncoming traffic or if you pull up broadside like to that Jeep you're shining right in someone's eye or if you come up behind a little sedan you're shining right over their back window you want to adjust it down where you don't do that um, other than that that's pretty straightforward we're gonna shut this hood I'm gonna throw these uh, Amazon lights on they don't look too bad so I'm gonna keep this little screwdriver in my Jeep just for now. Um, I can always pull up to something out, out in public and uh, raise them up or down if I have to on the fly and get them dialed in where I want them. This is your low beam, high beam, you just go off of where your low beam's at. And then for Ox beam lights. They're pretty pretty bright and crisp, man. They definitely overpower these uh, headlights by a lot. I like them. Good look on the Jeep. They shoot pretty far. It is still daytime out, but I left them a little loose where you can still point them out a little bit. I did not like how they glare off the hood don't like that Let's see maybe if I could prime out a little bit yeah they glare off the hood something horrible right there so not really sure what to do about that I may move them to the bumper if I don't like them I want them function over looks I figured that little cheap mount right there would be good but you can see them dudes hit that hood at night time that's pretty bright a pretty bright glare so Lights look like they're shining out about where I want them to be. I think that'll be all right. All right, man, that's gonna be it for the spare tire carrier. Oh, that's a tongue twister. That's gonna be it for this one, man. My back hurts from doing that thing by myself. Don't recommend doing that by yourself unless you're just a big old guy. I'm not a big old guy like that, but it wasn't that bad. Probably should stop complaining. Give me a comment down there. Tell me if you like it or not. Yeah, like I said, I got a rack coming for that thing, and uh, I'll mount some boxes on top of that for me and my wife to get across country. So, so that's gonna be it for this one, man. Appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll uh, see y'all in the next one.